Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. Can you see my breath? It's cold, it's like 42 degrees. We are here at Shadow Bay Trailhead parking area um, at Waldo Lake. Here, I'll show you. We are right there. And we're gonna take the trail all the way. I mean, we're going all the way around Waldo. Except, maybe we should have parked on the road. Hmm. Because that's half a mile of trail that we don't have to do. Yeah, because if we go back to right here, then we wouldn't have to do that little bit. Although coming back, we're going to have to do that little bit, so. Hmm, not sure, not sure. Doing uh, 21 miles, 22 miles today. And uh, it's 7 a.m. right now, I think, around 7. And it's exciting. I've been wanting to do this all year, so I'm super stoked that I get to do it today. We'll catch you on the trail. Okay guys, so we have gone from here. So we did end up parking on that road instead of here uh, where I did my intro because it cuts off that half mile that's really not part of the loop. So we started here at Shadow Lake and we've gone all the way to here. We're about to cross this road, which is right there. Yeah gonna start going around the lake here. We haven't had any lake views yet because we've been here. So we're about to hit lake views. Okay, so we just headed through campground and now we're heading down to the shoreline trail and that continues on to our trail. Lots of open campsites here. This is the, I think it's the North Shore campground of some sort. And there's Waldo. It's hard to tell because of the smoke, but that's clear water. It almost looks tropical. So those are rocks in the water there, if you can tell. I have a feeling that's a couple feet. Oh down. yeah, it's just so clear you can't tell. Like two feet and then just starts. It's beautiful, down. but you can see how smoky it is. On normal days you could see across the lake, but not today. It's so cool though. Okay, so this is the headwaters of the North Fork, Middle Fork, Willamette River. There's the sign, North Fork. Comes out of Waldo Lake. That's pretty cool.
clear water. I'm not quite warm enough to go swimming. <laughs> So this is kind of cool to be here now. Mm -hmm. We we're over there. Yeah, because the I saw this. Yeah. I saw this rock slide and wondered, do we go up and over it? Because I could not make out the trail at first. Yeah. So over here's the burn section we were in. You could barely see it because of the smoke. But, uh, yeah, we've come quite a long ways. It's cool to see it. Hello. We are a little more than halfway. Keeping a good pace here. My hip's starting to hurt a little bit. So I'm glad I have a chiropractor appointment in a couple of days. Awesome hike so far. Just love that I'm doing this. I don't even care if it's hazy or anything. It's just so cool. So it's an easy trail, so it's easy to keep a, a good fast pace. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. So cool. Look at that water. Nomming on these huckleberries. They're so good. Mm. <laughs> Huckleberry tongue. Well, this section has been kind of boring because I'm not next to the lake with pretty views. It has reminded me a lot of the PCT, especially from Bobby Lake on to like Elk Lake. It looks a lot like this with the huckleberries and this type of forest. So it's making me reminisce and it's making me look forward to next year when I through hike the Oregon section. And it's cool because the fact that I don't have any issues with hiking 20 miles leads me to believe I won't have any problems on the PCT. We're about to get back to the lake. The stretch has been a little long and boring and it's a lot more uphill than the other section, like the part before lunch. Dang mosquitoes though. Don't know how to get away from them. They're still here in late August. Kinda sucks.
Black Creek Trail, North Waldo, okay. Shadow Bay, 3.8, yay! Exciting. Oh, it's starting to get tired. I've uh, been hiking for 16.8 uh, miles, so almost 17. I really don't like how a lot of this trail is in the woods, so it's not even along the lake, which sucks because this kind of hiking, mile after mile after mile, is like, ugh. I just want it to be kind of over with. <laughs> it's not nothing special, so that kind of sucks. I thought more of it was on the lake. That's what it looks like on the map, at least. So yeah, that kind of blows, but um, I think there's a lake section coming up here that's really pretty, but it's not towards like the very end, so <sighs> kind of dying, but just gotta keep going. Been eating so many huckleberries. It's ridiculous. Like that one right there. Yum. Shadow Bay. Campground. 2.3. Except we're not going to the campground, so it might be shorter. Might not, I'm not sure. It's not fair to me that my legs feel like they can keep going for miles and miles and miles. Like my legs and my endurance could easily do a 30 mile day, but my feet. How do you, question of the day, <laughs> how do you train your feet to go many, many, many miles? Because after about 15 miles, my feet start to hurt. I mean, hot spots kind of, but more just like the foot is like super tender when you step down. Like you don't want to step like, <laughs> like, ow, it feels broken or something, you know? Like, the foot just hurts. Yeah, how do you train that? Do you just go on longer hikes? More and more often? I'll have to ask someone that's, that does 30 mile hikes regularly. Like a through hiker. If any of you are PCT through hike veterans, let me know. How do you train your feet not to hurt? Because my feet hurt really bad. Oh my god. Guys, I just hit 19 miles. Do you see how I'm walking? Okay, so all of a sudden there's like excruciating pain in my foot and I think the blister at the bottom, well, I thought it was just a hot spot at, at the bottom of my foot just like burst or something because all of a sudden there was like excruciating pain. <laughs> Ooh. And now I'm kind of like walking on my heel. So as to not put pressure on it. Yeah, just getting reamed by mosquitoes. Because <sighs> I can't move fast enough. Holy shit, they're bad. But I can't walk any faster. <sighs> Get away from me. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have half a mile left. This is, this is tough. This is tough going. I can't wait to look at this monster blister or whatever it is. It's like... <laughs> Crazy. So many mosquitoes on me. <sighs> okay, I'll catch you when I'm there. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. I'm back at the car. 20 miles exactly. 20 miles in 8 hours and 44 minutes. I'm so happy I finally got to do it. At the end there I got like 50 mosquito bites, but Oh, so worth the hike. So epic. 20 miles. I feel like I've officially reached through hiker mileage status. If you've gone 20 miles, you can be a through hiker. Or you're up at that level.
anyone can be a through hiker. Anyway, I'm super proud of myself. I will catch you on the next adventure. Okay, bye.